the news network for the people, combating the mainstream media. A U.S. Space Force missile warning satellite that's six years in progress is almost finished. Now, the organization that built the sensor, L3 Harris, got a $9.3 million contract on April 6th to maintain and prepare the satellite for dispatch in 2021. Now, the contract is for pre-launch and post-launch services for the Wide Field of View Missile Identification Satellite. Now, the satellite bus that will carry the satellite out to space is furnished by Millennium Space Systems, which is a subsidiary of Boeing. The U.S. Space Force's Space and Missile Systems Center plans to send the satellite to geosynchronous Earth orbit no earlier than August 2021. Now, geosynchronous orbit is high Earth orbit that allows satellites to match Earth's rotation, located at just 22,236 miles above Earth's equator. Now, this position is a valuable spot for monitoring weather, communications, and surveillance. Now the WFOV, or known as the Wide Field of View, is a testbed satellite that is not part of a missile warning constellation, but a standalone experiment. Weighing roughly 2,200 pounds, it's one-fourth the size of the space-based infrared system spacecraft, also known as SBIRS, that currently performs strategic and tactical missile warning for the Defense Department. Now the WFOV satellite will be used to test different ways to collect and report missile launch data. The research will be used by SMC to design a future missile warning constellation. The SMC is the United States Space Force's Space and Missile Systems Center. Quote, the WFOV will inform the next generation overhead persistent infrared programs, also known as OPIR, of record, end quote, a spokesperson said in a statement. SMC is already developing the next generation OPIR Block Zero that is scheduled to launch in 2025. The WFOV experiment will be used to develop technical requirements for the OPIR Block One. One of the goals is to use WFOV data to develop ground algorithms for processing the larger volume of data expected to come from future sensors. Quote, WFOV is not currently planned to be a part of the OPIR operational baseline architecture. End quote. If the experiment is successful, SMC would consider adding WFOV into the appropriate portion of the architecture. End quote. Now, the satellite was built with Millennium's Aquila M8 mid-size bus. L3 Harris has completed the development and integration of the 200kg 6-degree sensor. Quote, Millennium is storing the fully integrated wide field of view satellite at the company's facility in El Segundo, California, a company spokesperson told Space News April 10th. The team is preparing to support mission risk reduction activities and pre-shipment review. 